the weak. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now, you ever think about them? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was released February 19th for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. It was developed by Platinum Games and published by Konami. Is this venture into a new genre a good thing for the Metal Gear franchise? Or could you still be hiding in a box? The Metal Gear franchise has always had great storytelling elements, and luckily for us, it doesn't stop here. Taking place four years after the events of Guns of the Patriots, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance puts you in the shoes of Raiden, who is a cyborg working for the PMC in order to raise money for his family, and you must save the world, in a sense. At least that's what you're trying to do. Along the way, you end up facing off against a rival PMC known as Desperado, and a trio troop of them called the Winds of Destruction. I'm not going to spoil anything, but just know that there is a lot here to love. The game plays an all new take on the hack and slash type that we've seen in the past, except take that action meter and crank it to 11 because this is really fun. You'll be going from level to level, slashing everything that comes into sight, and I mean everything. And there is very little sneaking around in this one, so in that way it's not very at all connected to the gameplay mechanics of the Metal Gear Solid series, but truthfully, I wouldn't have it any other way. After every level, you get to level up Raiden, if you will. Upgrading his stats, which include things like his health, weapon, and his side weapons. Along the way, you get to face some really original and truly epic and scale bosses. The bosses have to be the best part of the game. And when you fight some of them and you kill them, you truly feel like a badass and you felt like you just committed the most awesome act in the history of man. Speaking of awesome, I really enjoy the Zandetsu parts of the game. Basically, when in combat, you can perform Zandetsu, which are sequences that are put together quick time events. And the free blade mode has some really jaw-dropping moments. Speaking of the free blade mode, there are two modes when and out of combat that doesn't include the normal button mashing, in a sense. In free blade mode, you either use your analog sticks or your buttons to slice and dice opponents or obstacles or just whatever, however you see fit. I mean, you can slice a watermelon, you can try and slice a cat, but the cats are invulnerable. It's really weird. The other is ninja run mode, when Raiden will jump over obstacles freely and run very, very, very quickly. Lastly, and probably the weakest part of the gameplay has to be the fact that the game on its normal difficulty will probably take you somewhere around between 4 to 6 hours to complete. But that doesn't mean that the game has some truly epic gameplay and fun moments. <music> to say that Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a beautiful looking game would be a true understatement, and I mean that sincerely. Everything in the game, from the levels, to the enemy design, to the textures, to the character models, is simply stunning. The animations are buttery smooth, and I've never had any problems with texture pop-ins or screen tearing at all during my playtime. Another strong thing is the voice acting. It's simply fantastic. Everyone sounded perfect. Lastly, the music is really good and fits the game quite well. I cannot praise the game's presentation enough. Here's the one big downside to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and that it's missing a big replayability factor. And while the single player is a great experience and everything, there just isn't a whole lot to come back to. There's no collectibles, there's no multiplayer, there's like really just nothing to make you want to go run back through it other than the fact that you had a really fun time playing it. So unless you want to re-experience those moments all over again, I just don't see a high replayability here. Overall, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a truly awesome game, with a great story, fun gameplay, and awesome presentation. 
So I'll give Metal Gear Rising Revengeance a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's a great game. This has been Corey from TheOverShield.com with the review by Andrew Holmes, and I will see you all next time.